Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. I always like struggle with that. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, happiness, many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Stay in the whitest and purest of white light, okay? Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on today. Okay, so we have the lovers out here. So there has been a decision made in a situation. Um, this may have to do with love, an offer, business. Okay, I'm loving this. Awesome. So we have a decision that has been made. Someone may want to work with you. Maybe someone is waiting on the perfect opportunity to come towards you with this offer. Or there has been a long waiting period, right, for you to receive this offer because there has been some type of chaos going on behind the scenes that you were not aware of. Someone was waiting to find the truth out for themselves. Um, so they didn't want to rush in to come and give you this offer. For some of you, there was something that was meant for you, but someone has been causing some type of stagnation to prevent you from receiving that whatever it is that belongs to you. It could be property, it could be money, a business, something like that. Um, but someone has been causing stagnation uh, to prevent you from receiving this opportunity. And this is because that person wants to have that opportunity themselves, um, but it's not meant for them. Someone has been going to a high priestess. Someone went and got some type of reading to get the truth from a high priestess. So they were waiting to hear what this either woman or man had to say. As you know, energy is fluid in tarot. So someone went and got the truth. They want to know if if they make this offer to you, if they decide to work with you, to partner up with you, is it going to be successful? Um, and it looks that whatever answer they received was either a positive one because we see the Knight of Pentacles out here, meaning that this person has decided to extend this offer to you. So that is absolutely beautiful. You may still have someone that's competing with you as remember i mentioned someone wants to have what belongs to you so we have this five of swords at the bottom which means someone thinks they're that they are worth worthy of the offer that is being given to you they don't believe that you deserve it they think that they deserve it more than you do uh, so they've been doing stuff behind the scenes it's just, it looks like <laughs> it looks like it's just correlating what i said there has been some type of shenanigans going on behind the scenes to interfere with you receiving what belongs to you there's something about love going on or this could be in business as well um, but i'm more so getting the a feeling of business going on here. Someone wants to work with you. This is not just going to be a work opportunity, uh, though. It's going to turn into something that's going to be romantic, but it'll be something extremely genuine. You may have a soul contract with this person with the Two of Cups being out here. So this means that this is going to be something absolutely genuine, very uh, compassionate, equal give and take. You will pour into each other, manifesting a new reality that is going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, it's going to be very beneficial. I just heard that you and this person coming together will be your justice. Um, you two will be extremely healing for one another, right? So this is something you both are in need of. So you may need healing in a department that your masculine does in, and your masculine may need healing in a department that you don't, vice versa. This is a general, general read, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest for later, because you never know what's going to happen later, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this tea. I'm loving this energy. This looks like you have some type of abundance, new life, new opportunity, success coming your way. You've been trapped in something that you are getting out of. Someone wanted to trap you as well in some type of unhealthy situation. Someone didn't want you moving or moving forward. They've been doing things to block your forward movement. Uh, as far as you connecting with other people, maybe other romantic interest in things like that. Someone wants you to stay stuck. They don't want you moving forward, okay? Um, someone, I just heard, is also in a union that they are not happy in. Someone may have found the truth out about their lover. Um, they still have been like a masculine that went to get the truth about someone they're in a, a relationship with and they may have found out that that person has ulterior motives. Someone may be trying to take 
money or steal money from that masculine. Uh, so he could end up leaving her out in the cold. Oh. <laughs> to be careful with my mouth i just said leave her out in the cold and then the death car pops out so yeah someone is leaving a union to start over brand new because someone's character was not what they put it out to be the truth has been seen about someone okay it's for some of you there could, there could be a court case that's coming up um because there's been something illegal going on behind the scenes there may be like lawyers and things like that that ends up uh, having to meet up to make some type of deal, come to some type of conclusion. You may have to compromise with someone, but there's something that is absolutely coming to an end. Um, for some of you, this has to do with your finances. Someone may have interfered with your finances and that period of stagnation, having to pinch pin and budget in really tightly is absolutely dead and gone. You are about to be restored in life, okay? You're being told to stand your ground. Uh, you are protected. Your ancestors are looking out for you. You have a brand new passionate beginning coming for you. There is some new opportunity that will be presented to you that will enable you to move forward. Um, this is coming in pretty quickly from what I just heard. Um, so you are about to be living a brand new life. Okay. Uh, what is that saying? Rip me out the plastic bag. I'm feeling brand new. You are about to be brand stinking new, my dear. Whoever you are, man or woman, um, this is a general read, genderless. So if the story resonates with you, then please do apply it and just know that things are turning around in your favor. We have the sun car out here. Your path is illuminated. You are blessed. You are favored. You are true. Um, people are blessed to have you in their life. Yeah, there's something you were not seeing or people were not seeing the truth about you before, but it is being illuminated. Whatever manipulation someone was causing behind the scenes, it has been illuminated. The truth is being seen. The conflict is over. The mental conflict, mental manipulation, bribing people behind the scenes and things like that to cause some type of illusion or to just pin you in a light that does not fit you. It is absolutely done and over with. You are being seen as someone truth, someone genuine. So I just heard there's a couple in here that has been working really hard to either steal from you, block you, Tarnish your name, things like that. There's a couple that has been extremely dedicated, dedicated to see an ending for you. These people have been going to high priestesses. The masculine may be the one that's going to the high priestess to get a reading on you. The feminine energy may be doing it as well. She tends to do her stuff from behind the scenes. So then this masculine may not be aware of just how much this feminine is doing behind the scenes to interfere with your life and things like that. But you're being seen as the truth. Someone uh, courageous, right? Someone courageous. You don't let fear hold you back. Uh, you have a, a, a high moral standard. Someone see you, see you as someone ethical. You do what's right. You are the truth. You're living in your truth. You're not hiding anything. There's no ulterior motive motives behind your actions so someone may have said that you are someone who's sneaky you're malicious you're deceitful but you're showing up as someone who is of solid character right so people know they can trust you they can let their guards down around you they don't have to wonder what it is you're doing behind the scenes with the information they're telling you uh like me for example if you tell me something it's almost like you never told me it's not that i don't remember but it's just like um yeah i'm just gonna keep that to myself because I wouldn't want them sharing that about me. So I'm just going to act like I don't really remember. And if you happen to tell me again, I'll just act like I don't remember you telling me. Because like I'm really big on privacy. But if you push me to the point where I do need to spill the beans, then hallelujah, the beans is spilled. Okay? Um, so you're someone showing us as, as extremely intuitive like very wise and i don't think whoever was going up against you assume or even knew that even if they did they didn't want to accept it it's like someone was in denial about you it's like they knew the truth about you but they were living in denial and so because they didn't want to accept that truth they went on a smear campaign a, a tour uh, uh, gathering enemies, frenemies, anyone they could get to work with them to help them on this mission. Okay. Someone may be living in regret. 
someone may be going through quite a lot, losing a lot with this death card out here. I don't think it's a literal death. I think this is someone's finances being brought to an end. Someone's, uh, um, yeah, someone's forward movement is absolutely done. Someone will not have success in taking you down. This whole thing about doing, you know, magic behind the scenes and things like that to, to cause destruction and things like that for you, it's just over. Someone is like, I don't know who this couple is or who this person is. They're, they are extremely destructive. Extremely destructive. It's like either the masculine was after you because they wanted to prove that the person they are with is better than you, but it's not so. So they committed themselves to something. Like someone wrote a check their behind could not cash. I feel like I should make that the title of the video. What do y'all think? <laughs> Someone has been using black magic behind the scenes to get things to go in their favor, but they cannot anymore. Someone was wanting to block your forward movement. Someone didn't want you having control of your life. They didn't want you having a say. It's like someone saw you or sees you as like an inanimate object, incapable of making decisions for yourself. Uh, just, I don't know what this person do is. It's like they just feel entitled to blocking you. And they are upset because you're still receiving an opportunity that they've been blocking you from receiving. Okay? There was a collaboration and it is over. This collaboration is absolutely over. People are walking away from this person, this group, whoever this is. People don't want to work with them anymore because it's too chaotic. There's too much darkness going on. People are like sitting down, reflecting and say, how the heck did I get here? How am I accepting money to do stupid stuff to someone that I don't even know that has done nothing to me? How the heck did I get here? Where is my life headed? What's going to happen to me, right? So people are walking away from your enemy or whoever this is. And they're seeing the truth about this person that they are extremely manipulative. This is someone out of control. This is not someone intellectual. This is just someone extremely bitter and malicious. Uh, 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 just, just out of control. Out of pocket. Here's <laughs> what I just heard. <laughs> Someone is out of pocket, okay? Okay, yeah. So someone wants to come in and make some type of proposal to you. It's like someone's passion is reignited for you. Someone is going for it. They're taking action to bring something to your attention. You're going to be receiving some type of letter, something of that nature, or some type of message to bring your attention to something. There's something that belongs to you that you need to absolutely go ahead and show up for so that it can be given to you. And people have been working to block you from receiving this thing that belongs to you. And I don't know what it is for each of you. It could be money, a check, uh, a house, excuse me. Uh, it's a, it could be a house, a business, some type of inheritance that belongs to you that someone has been working behind the scenes to steal to also just block you from receiving. For some of you, it could be a house. Like someone left you a mansion, but someone decided that you didn't deserve that mansion. Someone could have left you a property and there's a masculine that thinks that they deserve that property. So even though it wasn't left to them, they're doing things to make sure you don't get a hold of that property. And if enough time goes by, then they will be the one to go and purchase that property because it's just sitting there empty. But that's not how that works. It doesn't work that way. So you are being told that when you receive this letter, this information, you need to go for it, take action absolutely immediately. Immediately, okay? Do not hesitate. Do not let anyone confuse you. It is not a joke. Take it seriously, okay? Do not let anyone conflict you. Someone may be coming in to confuse you. It's why we have this Knight of Wands followed by the Two of Pentacles. Someone wants to come into it and cause you some type of mental illusion, cause you confusion. Is that, do you really know, do you really think you want that? Oh my gosh, like it's, if it's a house, you know the house is like in the city. I don't think you want to live in the city. That's a dangerous place to be. Or you know it's like in the boondocks. You know them white folks don't like people out there, right? Don't like all people out there. It's all mental games. Someone may want to even come in and manipulate you about a masculine or a feminine that's interested in you never make your decisions based on what other people are telling you 
that's a setup for failure, okay? That is a setup for failure. Yeah, ulterior motives. Thank you. Ulterior motives. Someone's coming towards you with ulterior motives because they know you're about to receive this information and this is your way of interjecting. Someone, for, Lord have mercy. We will not be fooling with the past. That is what we are not going to do. That is what we are not going to be doing. Do not fool with the past. Be forward moving. Okay? It's not that you hate the past. Please do not hold any do not hold any type of bitterness in your heart for anyone that has ever done you anything because you are not doing yourself any justice. You're holding yourself back. That is why we always say you need to forgive. And your people are always say, why do I have to be the one to forgive? Because you deserve to be happy. You deserve to live a fulfilling life. Every day you wake up choosing not to forgive, you're holding bitterness in your heart and your, your internal system is out of whack. And that is how we end up manifesting illnesses in our bodies because we won't forgive. We're holding on to grudges and things like that. Let it go. Let it go, okay? But someone from your past, is having good memories, fun memories. They may want to reconnect with you or they're seeing the truth about you. Someone, so this is letting me know that whoever was smearing your character was someone from your past. Someone from your past is now seeing that you are someone genuine, authentic, you are ethical, you operate based on morals and principles. So someone who have had a clouded judgment about you, this is like you, let's say it's a relationship, you dating someone, you're living with them for maybe eight years or something. This person never puts in any efforts to get to know you, anything about you. But then when you leave the relationship, they start smearing your character, but they don't even know you to an extent where they can be the one to make judgment on your character, right? So this is possibly one of those situations where someone you dated, they didn't know you very well, uh, they saw a glimpse of things here and there, and when those glimpse of things they saw they didn't make sense to them, they said, "Oh, he's 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 uh he's malicious, or he's uh devilish, or she's malicious, she's devilish, she's a whole, she's a this, she's a that." But you're like the complete opposite of all of those things, and that is what this person is going through. Someone is going through some type of rude awakening. Uh, when it comes to you, someone may have traded you in for another partner they thought was better than you, and they're finding out the hard way that that person is not better than you. Of course, they're not, my collective. You are fabulous. So who can be better than you? Nobody. Lies. Yeah. Someone was wanting... Honey? <laughs> From your past was wanting to cause you destruction to your work. Someone was wanting to cause you destruction. Someone from your past has been extremely committed to causing you destruction. Someone does not want people seeing the truth about you. They don't want seeing people seeing you in a positive light, a genuine light. They don't want people thinking highly of you. Someone has been out here telling people that you are a jizzy bell for a lack of a better word, that you are a airhead, dumb as can be. Someone told someone that you may have a mental issue, that you're delusional, you uh, you see things like you're cray cray. Someone has been spilling a lot of lies. Someone told people that you're lazy. This is part of why we have this eight of pentacles out here. They told people that you are lazy. Okay, but this is not what's being seen. Someone that didn't want your work moving forward, they wanted to interfere with your pentacles and things like that, but this is what they're going through. Someone lost a lot of money fooling around with you, partnering up with the wrong people. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> Now, karma will finish us. My honey, this person is experiencing karma. Well-deserved karma. Now, karma will finish us where we're. Honey, this person, they're going through exactly what they were trying to put you through. Someone is going through an ending while the ending they were intending for you is being blocked. 
being blocked. You are being seen as someone solid, not someone egotistical. This is what this person was saying, that you were a narcissist. You're financially motivated. You're superficial. But with this tower here in the reverse, you are absolutely not. Someone has been working behind the scenes to tear down your work, tear down your life. and But you are staying calm in the midst of it all. And you are building back us slowly. It's like every time they take down a brick, you go right back and put that brick right back up. And you put sealers around it to make sure that it does not fall. Someone has been working extremely hard for someone. This is your ex that's doing this to you. This person has been causing conflict in your life. For a while, you didn't know who was doing it, where the attacks was coming from. It was from your ex. Someone malicious. Someone that is jealous of you. They're hooked on you. They have some type of awe addition to you. Addition. And they have made it their mission to destroy you. But they're going through an ending. Someone, your ex got fired from work. So he's going through some type of heavy betrayal, heavy ending as well. It's like someone accepted money to do something to you or they had money and they chose to use that money to either go do something really ridiculous and now they are out of work, going through betrayal. Their whole life is upside down. They're going to have to rebuild their life over from scratch. And this is what they were intending for you in the universe. Yeah, absolutely not. We are returning this energy right back to you where it belongs. Not to our star seed. You can have it all back. So they return it to him or her. And honey, someone cannot stand the heat in the kitchen but they don't have an option of getting out of the kitchen. They're stuck. Okay? This is karma in the best way possible. It's like the very energy you put out there is the one that was returned to you. Life is a projection of the energy you put out, and this person is finding it out the hard way. Someone is heartbroken. Oh, heartbroken. I mean, listen, my ancestors... They are, they're just like, you know what? We got this. We'll speak through you. We're going to shut, shut the regular you off and we'll take over. So, honey, your life is moving forward. There's nothing anyone can do to block you. The universe is working with you. You have a lot of opportunities coming in. This person can no longer cause illusions. This is what he's, he or she has been doing for a very long time. And people didn't know that. Then I say opportunities coming in for you. <coughs> opportunities coming in for you. Okay. This person has been causing a lot of illusions behind the scenes. Someone was determined to control you, to block you, block your forward movement, block your connections with people. Someone didn't want you to be in love with anyone else. They said, if you are not coming back to me, nobody can have you. You are stuck with me and I'm going to decide how your life goes. Spirit said negative. You will not be deciding how he, his, or her life goes. You need to figure out what you're about to do with yours. Okay? So these illusions are over. You have opportunities coming in. I'm telling you, they cannot cause illusions anymore being sat down. And someone is throwing a fit. Someone is throwing a fit because they're being sat down by the universe. It says, sit your behind down. Sit. You know when you're grinning your teeth talking to your kids in public and they keep acting out and you got to put your teeth together and sit your behind down. The universe is fed up. They're like, you know what? We are just about sick and tired of you, kid. We've been telling you to do different, make a better decision, see things from a higher place. We've been telling you not to take this route, but you're not listening. So you know what? It's done. You're done. You are flat out done. And they're throwing a fit behind the scenes. Someone is sad. I'm not getting more so that they're angry. I think someone is sad, depressed. 
someone is going through remorse because they're realizing that they had something extremely genuine and beautiful with you. Like you extended something very genuine to someone and they rejected that because they didn't take the time to learn you, to understand you. So they had a misconception about who you were. So they thought that someone else was more deserving of having a love situation with them, only for them to find out that it was not so. And now you are out of the equation. This person is looking for you, dreaming about you, daydreaming, reminiscing everything about you, and you are nowhere to be found. Someone is going through mental torment about you. Mental torment. They're having to walk away from all of these tactics they've been doing behind the scenes because they are exposed. Someone is out of money. They're out of work. They can no longer pay practitioners to do things to you, send you dark energy, have people uh, stalking you, trying to run you off the highway and things like that. For some of you, these people, these exes have gone through extensive lengths to block you. Someone wanted to unalive some of you is what I'm hearing because you would not go back to this person. You escaped this person. It's like, it's like someone had a plan to take you out. It's, just, it's like some of you were dating an occultist and this person was working on you slowly for years and you didn't know that, but spirit illuminated something to you and you got the heck up away from that person. And now that occultist don't know what to do with themselves. They're like, I've done this to numerous women or numerous men before, and I've been successful. Why can't I end you? Why can't I not end you? I'm going to end you. The universe said, oh, really? We'll see about that. Unemployed. No money. Betrayal. No more illusions. Sit down. Have a long time out, because you will not be even entering that person's energy anymore. You are forbidden. So someone is going through a rule awakening, but it's healing for them. They're going through healing. They don't, they won't see it that way right now, but it's going through healing. It's much needed healing that this person needs. Okay. Someone, someone here that's a masculine that I mentioned earlier that does not want you having something and they want to have it, but you're still going to have that because it belongs to you. So they're throwing a fit. It's like they were expecting to receive something else. What is yours, but they're receiving something else. And they are not happy about that. And this is because this person was doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement. Someone did not care what kind of living situation you were in when they were causing mayhem in your life. So spirit sat them down. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles. You are a mother figure. You are a wife uh, figure. You could be a wife or you're of wife quality. You're the kind of man, women, you're kind of, you're the kind of woman men want to marry. You're focused on your business, your financial uh, aspects of life and things like that. You're extremely nurturing, intuitive, very kind, humble, easy to talk to. You see things from many, many perspectives and things like that. You're absolutely fabulous. Amazing. Meanwhile, we have someone in your past reminiscing about you. You, I told you, you are absolutely receiving your offer. Ace of Pentacles. You are receiving your offer. It is due to you. And people have been working to block you from receiving that. Someone is extremely upset that this offer is coming to you. Oh, honey, look at here. So not only do you have a brand new financial opportunity offer come blessing coming in from god you have love coming in as well that's going to be equal gift and take honey i'm gelling i am gelling for you i'm jelly of you i'm just kidding i'm not jealous of anyone i am absolutely uh, 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 astounded amazed happy for you this is what we all deserve to have fulfillment in life so not only are you going to be successful in your financial department, you're going to be successful in your love department. Who can ask for more than that? Tell me in the comment section. Who can ask for more than that? Emperor? Oh, look at you. 
the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor together. I'm loving it. I, honey, I love it. You're about to be partnering up with an emperor. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He is getting out of a situation that was extremely toxic. This emperor is putting an end to something. A relationship. With some type of situation ship is what I just heard. He's staying calm within it all. This person has found strength to put an end. He's dead in that situation. He said, oh, you little heifer, I see you for who you are. You think you can trick me? I showed you. The fact that I'm saying that means that this emperor has been de uh, dealing with someone that's a trickster. Someone who is a trickster. He's going through healing right now. This emperor is walking away from someone and walking into a brand new life. This emperor has something to say to you is what I just heard. He may want to communicate with you after he's done healing. This emperor is seeing you in some way. It's like he sees you as someone very intelligent, very wise, a bit on the feisty side of things, but he doesn't mind that. I mean, when you make it to this emperor of energy status, you, you've seen everything. You can see a woman a mile away and know the truth if she's an uh, empress or if she's not. He's seeing you in a pitch of source energy. That does not mean that he doesn't think that you are mature. He's just, you're younger than him. This is why he's seeing you in this energy. You're showing up as someone younger than this emperor. I think this is also why you show up in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're not in like your, your teen, teenage or 20s. You may be in like your 30s or 40s. And this emperor is possibly maybe in their 50s or something like that. And he's seeing you in a very youthful energy. You're very lively and vibrant, very healing. He may find you to be a little eccentric. The word just came to mind. But he finds you to be very appealing. He's a little smitten. I'm not going to say a little. This man is extremely smitten by you. It's what I'm seeing. And he sees you to be someone genuine. He, he likes your character. He likes your character. He sees you as someone with high moral character. Someone whose character is solid. So he sees you as very compassionate. He thinks he can have a genuine... Con uh, connection or relationship with you so he may be coming towards you okay there's something he needs to tell you as well he's going to be illuminating something to you exposing something or someone to you uh about a situation that has been taking place this emperor is not a thief i didn't get that I get that he's coming towards you to tell you the truth about something that has been going on behind the scenes. He's exposing something to you. But I am not getting the uh, um, feeling that this person is malicious. With the fact that this Eight of Cups is out here means that this is someone that's going through some type of healing, recovery, going on some type of soul journey and things like that. And he's about to be living in his truth. This is someone extremely wise. And he's coming to tell you, bring something to your attention. Okay, but if you decide to get with this person, it is going to be a genuine connection. Yeah, about a plan. He's coming to expose something to you about resources, like work. Someone, is, someone may be coming into your life to help improve your way of working or something you're working on. Like he's going to show you the ins and outs of a business. Because he knows you're capable of doing it. There's something also he wants to talk to you about. But I, I don't know what it is. There's something else. I keep hearing something else. Maybe Spirit doesn't want me to know right now. Spirit, I thought we were friends. Like, you don't want to share with me now? Oh my goodness. I thought we were friends. Spirit's like, nope. That's none of your business. Stay out of grown folks' business. I will. I will. 
Oh, yeah. This man is going to help you get out of some type of sticky situation you are in. You're like out in the cold right now, but this man is coming in to help you get out of the cold. And I don't, I, I couldn't even tell you, start to tell you who this person is in your life. If you've met them before, not met them before, but someone is coming in to assist you because there's something, some type of uh, um, wickedness is the word that just was given to me. Some type of wickedness that's been going on behind the scenes and he's going to be helping you get out of that. It's that like you're in some type of tra trap, some type of mess. You know you are in a trap or in a maze. And you have been praying to the universe for assistance. And this is them sending you assistance. I'm, truth. I'm telling you the truth. It's the God, God's honest truth. Someone is coming to assist you. Mm-hmm. And this has to do with a toxic character, someone behind the scenes, either a toxic couple, character, institution, coven, cult, whatever it is. He's coming to tell you the truth about what they've been doing behind the scenes. King of Pentacles. Oop. 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 Is there competition? Is there competition? Honey, you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make in love, in life. Lord, don't take my don't don't count my singing against me. I don't plan on cutting uh quitting my day job to be a singer. Cause we both we all know I sound better with a trash bag or a paper bag over my head in the shower. Okay. There's a lot of masculine energy in this read all of a sudden. Every time the King of Swords comes up, he just tends to take over the read. Like his energy is just so strong a lot of the times. There's a King of Pentacles that wants to speak to you, clear something up with you about something he either did in the past Something, I don't know. I don't want to lie to you. But I think this man wants to talk to you about something. I feel like this King of Pentacles and this King of Swords are in some type of standoff. Like they, they are up against each other for something. Whoa, what was that? Queen of Wands. So both of these men have offers to give you. So does this emperor. Honey, you have your hands full. I am not here to help you with that because um, I can't make decisions for you. But good luck with your choices, your options. Stay blessed and may the odds forever be in your favor.